Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Basically, in today's video, we will be making some little DIYs. So I found a bunch of little DIYs that we will be making in today's video. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. So for this next DIY, we are basically going to be making little laptop stickers. So this is what my laptop looks like at the moment. As you can see, it's not that cute and has a bunch of random stickers on it. So we're basically going to make some new cute stickers to put on it. Recently came across this TikTok where they showed their laptop with a bunch of adorable stickers on it. So we're basically going to do something like that. So yeah, let's just get into making these little stickers. Firstly, I'm going to be removing all of these stickers that I have on my laptop at the moment. I finally got all of the stickers off except the Glossier sticker because like, I feel like I want to keep that one because I really like that sticker. So yeah, I finally got all of the stickers off. It literally took such a long time because they were really stuck on. I'm going to be moving on to making the stickers. So yeah. So I've basically made my little setup right here. So firstly, I printed out all of these little pictures that I want as my stickers. I found them on Pinterest, most of them. So yeah, these are the stickers that I chose. So if you don't have a printer, you can also just draw them instead. So yeah, the, you also need some baking paper. I don't know if it's called baking paper or like parchment paper or something but i'm gonna put it on the screen what it's called and you need tape and scissors so firstly i'm gonna just be cutting all the like stickers out so i just started with cutting like one sticker out so i can show you guys how to make the stickers so i'm gonna be starting with this one okay, so first thing you do is to put a tape on the baking paper i don't know if you can see but i put a piece of tape here and then after that you take your um little paper that you want to make as a sticker and you put it on a on the tape okay i have a different sticker now because i accidentally broke the other one but we're just gonna ignore that so you're gonna put the little paper thing on the tape on the piece of tape and then you're gonna take another piece of tape and put it on top so i just put a layer of tape on top as you guys can see so after you've done that you just cut around like um the sticker and then yeah, then it will be a sticker. I just finished cutting um, the little sticker out, so I'm now going to be testing it on my laptop. I don't know how to film this properly, but I'm going to do it as good as, as good as I can. So I have the sticker right here, so I'm just going to like peel the sticker off. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that! That's so cool. So yeah, as you can see, I just have my stickers. I'm not going to be putting it on my laptop. So I just put the sticker on. So I feel like it looks pretty good. So I'm not going to be making all the other stickers and putting it on my laptop. So this is how all the stickers and stuff turning and also of course have this sticker on already but I feel like they turned out so cute so I'm not gonna like put them on my MacBook and see how it looks. So yeah. So this is basically gonna be the layout of my stickers so I'm gonna be putting it like this. I haven't put them on yet so like I just figured out where they where I wanted them to be. So I'm now going to be sticking all of them on. Okay you guys, so I finally finished my laptop. So this is what it ended up looking like. I think it turned out so adorable. I'm literally so happy with the results. Um, so it ended up taking me like an hour to make. So it did take a little while, but it was pretty fun to make. Yeah, this DIY was pretty successful, but now we're going to go over to the next little DIY. Okay, so for the next DIY, we are basically going to be sewing like roses on little tops so basically i'm gonna find some old tops that i like never wear and then i'm gonna be sewing a little rose on them or a bow i'm gonna show you guys the tiktok that i got inspired from right now so 
so yeah let's just get into making these little tops so these are the two tops that I ended up choosing so i have this plain pink t-shirt um it's pretty basic i never really wear it and then i have this white tank top or a cami top i don't know what you call it but, but yeah so i basically have these two little roses a pink one and a white one um you don't have to use roses you can also like use bows so i'm thinking of putting the white rose on the pink top and then of course the pink rose here on the white top wait i need to see how it looks the other way around that's also really pretty the pink rose and the pink shirt let's try the white one they're both actually really cute i don't know which way i should go wait let me see the other way again <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna go like this. So they kind of like match each other, I guess. So um, with the pink t-shirt, I'm gonna sew a little white rose on it. And then on my white cami top, I'm gonna sew a little pink rose. So yeah, I'm just gonna be doing that right now. So I'm literally just gonna be sewing it on with like a needle and thread. So it's gonna be super easy. I just finished sewing the um, roses on the little tops and it turned out so adorable. So I'm gonna be showing you guys the results now. So this is how it ended up looking. It's basically how you guys saw it before, but now it's actually stuck on. So you can see I sewed, sewed it on so it doesn't come off. Um, but yeah, this is how the pink shirt turned out. I think this is definitely my favorite one. It's just so cute with the little pink rose and everything. Okay, so this is basically how the tank top looks. I've just put it under this like pink sweater. Um, but. You can see it's just this white tank top and it has a little rose. Yeah, I'm so happy with it. It looks so adorable. So yeah, I'm gonna try the pink one on now. So this is how the pink shirt ended up turning out. You can just see the little rose right there. It's so cute. Um, but yeah, overall, I think this DIY is a success. It was super easy and it's so cute. So yeah. Okay, so for this next DIY, I am going to be making a calendar. Um, I'm not making a Christmas calendar, but just like a normal calendar. So I'll be making this calendar for like 2023. I kind of made this idea in my head myself, so I don't have a TikTok to show you guys for reference. Um, but basically, as you can see here, I just dis like, I guess you could say designed these little like calendars. I have January, February and so on. And then I'll be printing them out. So you guys can see right here, I just printed all of the little calendar things out. So I have every single month. Let me just show you guys some of the months that I have. I also, I think my favorite might be December. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. This is the December one. It's super cute. So of course I made all of the things pink and with and I put like a picture in the background of all different things so I'm now gonna be punching a hole through like right here through all of them and then I'll be okay I'll show you guys what I do with then after I do that I also want to say this before I show you guys how to make it if you don't have a printer again you can also just draw it like that will also be really cute but you need to put all of your papers in like the right um what's it called in the right order so january 1st and of course december in the bottom and then you need to line them up perfectly so it is like you know even okay i've now lined all my papers up like perfectly and then i'll be punching a hole right here so yeah so i just punched the hole it was quite hard to make it all straight and stuff but i feel like i did an okay job so now i'm gonna get some ribbon and then i'm just gonna thread it through the hole i'll now put the thread through and i'm just gonna be tying a little bow i've now tied the bow and it looks super adorable and i'm just gonna be testing it if you can like flip it i guess so i just flipped the thing to october because that's the current month we're in and it looks so cute it actually works i didn't think that it will actually work so i'm now just gonna be hanging it, hanging it up somewhere in my room okay so i decided to hang it up here on my like um wardrobe i guess you could say because i have this little thing here where you can where you can hang something so 
I literally think it looks so perfect right here. It's so adorable. I'm so happy with this DIY. I think actually this is one of the easiest DIYs that I made. Yeah, it's super cute. I'm so happy with it. Okay, so for the next DIY, so basically I'm gonna make one of those like designer books for like decorations. I'm gonna put a picture right up here so you guys can see the reference. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys how I'm gonna make that. So basically I have this old book that I don't really like the cover of, it's pretty basic. So I'm gonna take some wrapping paper and wrap it around the book. And then on the side of the book right here, I have, I have some paper right here where I printed out um, Chanel and then I'm gonna cut it out and I'm gonna put it on here. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it in a So so far the book looks like this. I kind of like tape the like um, Wrapping paper inside the book. It doesn't look so good inside but that doesn't really matter. So I fold it in this side So I also need to fold this in and this in and then I'll be putting the text right here on the side. So yeah, super cute. So I've now wrapped my book in wrapping paper and secured it with tape. So now it's ready to um, put the text here on the side. So I'm gonna be doing that now. But yeah, that was pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If so, please like, comment and subscribe. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Mwah!